starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. We're late. I'm ready. Where's your tie? Do I have to wear a tie? Of course you do. But okay. it chokes me. I'll fix it so it won't choke you. Now hurry up, Jess, please. Well, it's began from Horton. Pretty good layers. Got 14 of them today. Good. What are you all talked out so early for? 10 to 2 o'clock, is it? When Caleb called, they changed the time to 11. Oh, yeah. Homer's nephew came down from Capital City and they want to get back before dark. Uh, that'd be Emmett. Uh, sells his insurance. Pinchy knows. Now, the stew's ready. Bread's on the table. Butter's in the icebox. Well, you'll be back before noon. Well, I certainly hope so, but if we're not, you go ahead and eat. Uh, did Jeff suspect anything? Uh, almost wish he did. Might make him a little less disagreeable. Goodness, don't you look all slicked up? Yeah. <laughs> I heard some fish jumping in the lake this morning. Maybe after you get back, we can try our luck, huh? Where do I have to go if Gramps doesn't? There you are. See, it's choking oh, me. Nonsense. <laughs> Jeff, what, what's that bulge in your pocket? Jeff, now what is it? My aunt. <laughs> Darling, now really, this is the end. You know that we're going to the carries, and you know that there'll be other people there. Look, I'll hold them for you to get back. But don't tip them over. They get dizzy and start eating each other. Yeah, I know, I know. Keep them straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, okay. come on. Okay. Hurry up. set the following down as my last will and testament. Hi, Ellen. Hello, Caleb. I'm sorry we're late. Oh, not at all. We just got through the legal rigmarole. You know Matt Willis ran the farm for Homer? No. Yes, of course. I hear you're going to California. That's right. As soon as this is over. Ellen, this is Mr. and Mrs. Finch, cousins of Homer from Leesburg. And this is Mr. and Mrs. Emmett Carey, Homer's nephew. How do you do, Mrs. Carroll? Yeah. This is Mrs. Miller and her son, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that there is young Edgar Carroll. Hello, Edgar. You two boys can sit together. Now, well, Helen, you sit here. Oh, thank you, Caleb. Now, now, let's see, where were we? Oh, yes. Do I hereby set the following down as my last will and testament? Firstly, I appoint Caleb C. Brown, attorney at law, as my sole executor, and charge him to administer my estate and execute whatever bequests are made herein. To my hired man, Matt Willis, I leave the sum of $50, although he, he has probably stolen 10 times that much. To my neighbor, Ellen Miller, I leave all the furnishings of my house. To young Jeff Miller, I leave the best thing I've got, my dog. Lassie. To me? She's all yours, son. We better proceed with the reading, uh, Mr. Brown. Sit down, Jeff. He can take her outside, Ellen. Go ahead, Jeffrey, take her out. Come on, Lassie. Come on. Been like that since the old man died. I'll take her out. Don't hurt her, please.
Lassie. Don't you remember me anymore? I used to come over and play with you lots of times before Mr. Carey died. You're mine now, Lassie. Mr. Carey gave you to me. do nothing. It's a she, not a he. And she can, too. Who wants an old she-dog? All they do is have pups. Why, my father says... Who cares what your father says? I care. Go ahead and care. Make her do a trick. I dare you. I double dare you. I triple dare you. I'll give you a Mickey Mantle if she does a trick. What's that? Baseball card, stupid. Here, Mickey Mantle. Make her do a trick. Well, what you waiting for? Come on, Lassie. Roll over. Play dead. Come on, roll over. Roll over and play dead, Lassie. What a dopey dog. She is not dopey. She's the smartest dog in the whole world. <laughs> You know what's dopey? These dopey cards. You pick those up. I will not. Pick them up. Pick them up yourself. Are there any questions? Your, uh, your kids are fighting. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jen! Oh, come over here. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself fighting with a boy you never saw before. He said Lassie was dopey. She is. You keep your mouth shut and you get in there and get cleaned up. I'm sorry, Mrs. Miller. Oh, I'm sorry, too, Mrs. You... Perry. Where's Lassie? She went inside. I'll get it. Oh, good, Matt. Thanks. Jeff? He started it. I uh, don't want you to misunderstand me, sir. I uh, appreciate Uncle Homer's having, having left me the farm. Although, what I'm going to do with it, I don't know. Uh, but when I visited Uncle Homer in uh, April, uh, he told me that he had better than uh, $2,000 in cash. And now, of course, you know Uncle Homer couldn't possibly have spent that much in just a few months. We only found $197. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. It wasn't my fault, Donna. It doesn't matter whose fault it was. You made that boy's nose bleed and oh, just look at your suit. Slung a rope around her neck so you can tie her up. Oh, good, man. Here's his hat. Oh, thank you. Go on, put her in the, in the your car. No, no, in the back seat. Goodness. Come on, Lassie. Come on. Have a good trip. Thanks. her stay? Not if she doesn't want to. But I haven't even had a chance, Mom. 
Oh, please, Gramps, please. Look, boy, there's one thing you got to understand. The Lord made animals free, just like human beings. And you can't force them to love you. They got to do the deciding. But I used to play with her lots of times when I went over to the Carries. Well, playing is one thing. She was Homer's dog. He raised her from a pup. And by the way, uh, Joe King's father's setter will be welcome soon. Oh, I don't want no setter, Pop. Not ever. All right, boy. We'll go and fetch you. Oh, gee. Thanks, Gramps. She get in here. The front door was closed. Why'd you run away, Lassie? Mm -hmm. Gramps! Huh? Growled at me. Well, mm -hmm. easy, girl, now. Easy. easy. What's the matter with her, Gramps? I don't know. She got away from you, huh? Hello, Matt. Hello, Mr. Miller. I sort of figured she might do that. You ought to tie her up in the barn. She'll get over it. The barn's cold at night. That won't hurt her none. At any rate, you got to get her out of here. I'm closing up and leaving. If she comes back, she'll starve. Come on, you. Shut up! Stop him! Wait a minute. I'll take her. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. going to tie her up in the barn, are we, Gramps? We'll work it out, boy. We'll work it out, yes. Come on, come on. Come on, Missy. That's it. Come on, right along now.
who's waking up the daylight. Good morning, Mr. Pease. Where are you heading? Down the road. If you've got any mail for us, I'll take it. Now, you know better than that. I'm just on my way to pick it up. Oh. What you got in your pocket there, guns? Oh, no, sir, they're... Well, they're... They're lamb chops. And this is water. Weren't figuring on running away, were you? Oh, no, sir, honest. I'm on my way over to the Cary place to feed a dog. Homer's lassie? I heard he give her to you. He did, but she ran away. Why in tarnation didn't you say so in the first place? Hop in, I'll drop you off there. Can I ride in the back? <laughs> sure, but don't hold up the mail. Okay. I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. I'll toot the horn. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Pease. Bye. dog or not, but you can stay here as long as you want making up your mind. And I'll come by every morning with something for you to drink. Come on, I'll bet you're thirsty. Aren't you? Well, I'll bet you're hungry. Come on. Of course, you won't be getting lamb chops every day when you decide to be my dog and come with us on the farm. But my mom's an awful good cook. There's always plenty of leftovers. Glassy. Money! I'll take that, kid. This is where the old man hit it. Give it here. Shut up. All right, let's have it. It doesn't belong to you. Let's have it, kid, before you get hurt. No. Give me that. Thank <laughs> you. 
get over that boy getting up at the crack of dawn this morning and sneaking out to feed that dog and bringing back $2,000 with him. Gramps, Mom! Now, now what? What do you want? I want to show you something. Get Mom! He wants to show us something. Now what you got up your sleeve? What? Sit. Sit, Lassie. Lie down. Lie down. Get on your side. Get on your side. Get your head down. Dead dog. Stay. <laughs> well, don't look up there. All right, She grabs. Yes, boy. She's all yours now. She's done her deciding. 